Hello everybody, this is Havoc. Welcome to part 13 of our Total War Tilla White Huns campaign. Picking up where we last left off. Atropatine, we focused on you last turn and we destroyed two out of three of your settlements. Am I right? Yeah, they only have one left. It was a nice, awesome battle with a lot of onagers, something I haven't done yet in this campaign. Uh, at least not on that scale. I think we had five onagers total. Uh, so there was a lot. So we did some damage there. What I've decided that I'm going to do... I'll put up the... <clears throat> the battle map, as it were. <clears throat> so the Sassanids have only have, what, three more sat puppet states left. They have Macron, Atropatine, and Arya. All of which are on their outskirts over here. <clears throat> What I've decided I'm going to do is I'm going to throw my hordes. We're going to take out a tropatine. I don't think any of these have been resettled that I know of. We're going to come down. We're going to take Arya. We're going to swoop down and take Macron. None of these guys. Um, I want to take his satchpiece. None of them I can take a satchpiece unless they were to break it with the Sassanids. I'm going in the turn. So, uh, there's really no reason to leave them to reconquer the Middle East. We're going to leave that with Roman, Eastern Roman Empire. Um, hopefully we'll be friends with them throughout the whole campaign. I need to look at my overarching objectives again to see what exactly I have to get done. I did, <clears throat> someone suggested getting military access from the Eastern Roman Empire. I can't get military access from them. I looked before I started recording. I'm not sure why I can't. Um, so that's just something we'll have to to figure out as we go, I guess. Illegitimate birth. Withholding taxes plus five for Toromana. We already know all of that. Okay, so diving into the heart of the Sassanids, I'm just trying to see where their troops are and whether or not I should be concerned. <clears throat> um, let's gather intelligence. Success, so they only have two settlements from what I gathered. Making a little bit of income, but we need to be making more. That's the gist. Toromana, he's kind of my blood horde. Not really. I won't say blood. He has done a lot. Um, we could go this way. We're going to just be in rivalry for a while. <coughs> Goodness. Um, that's just going to have to happen until... I can get into position to change things. <coughs> and then we're going to go with sheep pins. That knocks our integrity down a little bit. We're going to have some integrity issues. But I need the food. As well as the wealth. Can't hurt. And we're going to go ahead and decimate you guys. How are you guys doing? You need probably decimated you don't have enough food. You'll be okay. Alrighty. Can he hit us? He can, but we have at least one army to support. So let's go ahead and turn again. I don't think he'll come after us anyways. I think he's more concerned. Sassids are more concerned with keeping their territories and their armies rather than throwing them at me and losing them. But that's just me. Could be completely wrong. Join the war things. against the Tanukids? Um, you gonna give me some money? Ooh, they will give me money. <clears throat> They'll give me a lot of money. Um. Take up arms and no, I'll do the Tanukids. They menace us all. Join war against the Tanukids. 
And then let's do just 4,000. Sweet. Made a little extra dough. The Roost Roman Empires are very wealthy. So we're going to mooch off of them just a little bit. Just a little bit. Give me a lot of extra. I'll go to war with whoever they want me to, pretty much. Pretty much. Tropatine, you're not powerful enough to do anything. So don't even try. It's not worth your time. It's not worth my time. We could all be doing something different. Hostile agent activity failed. So you came after me. It's very rude. Um, <coughs> let's manipulate. Let's extort. Success. I guess we can't have any more. Is that how that rolls? Ah, uh, we can't have any more. Probably should have looked at that before I went and did something. But me not pay attention to something like that, it's shocking. Abishar, do you have walls? It looks like you have walls. Ugh, are we going to have to recruit some dudes again? They're just so expensive, mercenary onagers. It's almost not even worth it. Uh, let's go here. You can go here. As soon as we're down, or down, as soon as we're done with the tropatine, I'm going to kind of rest my troops up a lot. I think that just makes sense. A nomadic Trade Depot would get us a lot of extra income. What happens when I knock? Oh, wow. That's what's going on. Yeah, I totally forgot that I was on the max setting. Which sucks because that means we're really running low food-wise. Or income-wise, sorry. I was looking at food and just blabbered off my mouth. And we're going to go ahead and meet here. Wow, we really have that much of an income loss. Army upkeep is really high. Okay, let's look at our main objectives just real quick. We need to survive until 425. We have 10 more years to sack six more settlements. We need to earn the following income from raiding 7,500 and maintain 80 units. So we've got some booking we need to do. Uh, and so that's what we're going to work on. We're really going to work on it in the end for a Divine Triumph. We need to defeat 40 different factions, raise 70 settlements, maintain 200 units, construct these 8, research 40 tech, earn the following income from raiding 30,000. So we'll have to have some pretty... We'll have to have a lot of hordes. A lot of hordes that aren't right with each other. Interesting, interesting... Juggling that many hordes is slightly terrifying. Also means we need to buff raiding stats on all of my hordes. Whether that be with generals or with the standards themselves. Am I right or am I right? I'm right. I know. <clears throat> I think this, I don't think we'll have any issues from the Sassanids until we're ready to take them on. It's my personal opinion. And matter of state, mercenary commander, we've been through that before. All of my agents have been exposed. Trait gained, Vechke. He's flaccid. That's disgusting. Um, let's ask for a discount. We will get a discount. Uh, he has 
all the people he can get, so I'm actually not going to have him attack. He will attack. Yep, we will need onagers. Awesome. Um, onagers. Oh, so much. We are not even going to fight this battle. There's only 300 guys. Protective stance. We lost 59. We're going to sack it. And we're going to raise it. Heck yes. Oh, that's a lot of land that just got wrecked. We need to sneaky sneaky back here. Make sure he doesn't try and do anything. Um, where are our other agents? There they are. We just need to scout this whole area by us. Can I get here? Not without him. He has a lot of range. I know this to be true. Okay, he still has... He needs to get to four so we can upgrade. Actually, he needs to get to three so he can upgrade. Um, ba -ba 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 -bum. Does that mean the Sassanids? Or not Sassanids. The Atropateans. Oh, they're a horde. Maybe they'll throw themselves at me. We're going to go ahead and end the turn. Maybe the Atropateans will just uh, not do anything. I guess they didn't have a king. Unless they had a regent. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. All oh, the Sassanids are coming together. So we're going to stick with our plan. We're going to swoop around. And we're just going to work on wrecking their Satch piece. And if they want to bring their forces out, that's fine by me. I have no issues with that. Tropatoon, what you gonna do? He's probably just gonna come at me and throw himself at me. Duty calls Havoc's Fury. Oh, crap. Okay, I don't think that's my king. We're going to get Octar in there. Who is it? One of our own has been murdered. Nimrod, no! Crap. Seriously? Mmm. Crap on a cracker, man. Toromana, you're going to be a Dread Rider. Octar, you need to get some freaking experience. Oh, that ticks me off. That really ticks me off. Dang it. Matter of state, what? What do you want now? I'm, I'm mad. Greetings, I brought a gift to my people in order that we may improve relations. Accept the gift. I don't care. I don't care. Um, we're going to hinder this army. We're going to misdirect it. Critical failure. This is not a good morning. Okay. Is he building anything? He is not building anything. We're going to move you in over here. We'll put you right here. I'm going to put you... I'm actually going to drop you right here. And I'm going to drop you just over the border. We're going to take Karev. Not even going to fight it. Not today. Not this time. We're going to sack it. Enemy killed in battle. And we're going to raise it. I'm mad. I'm really mad. That's dumb. Technology, we need another one. Uh, we have researched military too, which gives us campaign movement range plus 10 across all armies. 
In order to get plus three food from reserves, we're going to research systematic ransacking. Gives us horde growth. It was building a royal ho host and wine trader. Yeah. Okay. Okay. In the turn. Slightly upset. Maybe I'll get over it. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to go after this army up here. So that way I'll at least have a nice battle for you guys. And hopefully a really nice lack of troops lost. I don't know what they have. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I just can't believe Nimrod's dead. He was becoming my favorite general despite his backward name. Which I want to know how Nimrod became such a negative name. I mean, I don't think Creative Assembly would have just put Nimrod in there just to be funny. And that had to have been like a legitimate name back in the day. Oh, you missed. That's what you get at Tropatine. That's what you get. Oh, come on. Just leave me alone. We'll have to finish off a Tropatine later. They are settlementless. That's all that matters. Hostile agent activity opportunity failure. Political obstruction. Um, uh, we'll decree it. Mercenary negotiations, minus 25% recruitment cost. You are going to get assassinated. Thank you. Okay, so these guys, we're not quite, quite ready to fight them yet. I need to be over here. You, my friend, can only recruit really high ranking stuff. Why? You know what? I really don't. I'm not going to be able to afford these guys. These guys are so much cheaper. I can get two of them for the same price. So I'm just going to load up on him for now. We researched. Systematic ransacking, we now have plus three reserve food. Across the board, gym. Step cataphracts. Hunt horsemen. Missile attack rate, missile damage. Step horse archers, replace step mounted bows. We're going to do that. It'll take 12 turns, but I think it'll be worth it. What do these guys have? Just a whole bunch of pagan levies, not even pagan bands. We could take them. Easily take them. Yes. What? Our spy leveled up. Good job, sir. Authority gives you critical success chance. What does zeal do? And cunning agent cost. So I'm going to bump up your cunning as well. What do we want to do over here? A little more scouting so we know our area. In the turn. So we will take out this army right here next turn. And kind of combine Havoc's Fury. We're recruiting so we can put into the Scourge of the East. We would have level 9 dudes, but... Actually, with him, that's a different army. Scourge of the East is a guy who I think we could actually make, but he can only make the super elite units. I think that's right. We'll just have to wait and see. The Sassanids are moving up to support their allies. Which is all fine and dandy. A noble birth. Joyous occasion. The family members have been blessed with a son. Ooh, who's this? Letta, Ina, Toromana, Kata, and Evitol. Nope. No one that I'm aware of. Octar, really need to get working on you, bud. Ready for battle. Yeah, she only can make unit rank ones. For the gods. That's not acceptable. Ready for action. 
Um, um, we're gonna send this guy. You're gonna come support. You're gonna run away. Which is not surprising at all. And. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and go fight it. No dilly dallying. No nothing. Battle of Merv against Arya, the Charge of Fire. Aspicana against my White Huns, King Gilla's Hammer, and Havoc's Fury with King Gilla, King, King Gilla at its head. This should be a very straightforward battle. I will overwhelm their horse archers with my own horse archers. And then, once we can get out their ranged out of the way, we can really wreck some havoc. Should be a fairly straightforward and simple battle. Help the light chargers. I'm actually going to rock my king with you guys. Cyanite spears. Don't really plan on using my infantry much. Doesn't mean I won't. So I don't plan on it. We are going heavy shot across the board. That seems to work really well against Cav. Wait for my reinforcements to come in before I do anything else. Our reinforcements enter the fray. Got my mercenary Persian mounted warriors. So I'm actually going to throw my general in with these guys. Here they come. The enemy draws near. Look at all that. Look at that. It's a lot of horses. Anyways, let's divide you guys up. And you guys will go in one last group. Unless... Nope. Okay. So they're obviously not going to do anything. They're just going to wait and see what I do. Which is perfectly fine and understandable. Got my king and his general over there. I got other melee over here. We're going to drop number fours. over here my number sevens will come over here eight you know what you're just gonna join with four it's really nothing different about you that I can tell number eights you'll probably just come right up in the front I would imagine who has the range of oh, the archers do and you're gonna be heavy shot These guys are backed up kind of to a mountain. What I'm really going to be prepared for is using my melee cav to chase down routers. That's my goal there. Go ahead and move forward. Let's freak them out. Four. We got seven. We got eight. Wow, they came in fast. Was not expecting that, and I totally forgot to do the whole move back skirmish mode. That's what I was thinking of. Yeah. Really kind of messed that one up. You guys come help them out. Yeah, we're losing. I mean, they're only step mounted bows. It's not a huge deal. The men have thrown down their weapons and are fleeing. 
go after these guys. Persian cataphracts. Kind of in a pickle. Way more aggressive than they usually are. You guys are all really fast, so let's kick it into gear. You guys get out of the battle. Okay, so Persian Mountain Bowman, the enemy general's dead. This will be an easy battle from here on out. Very easy battle. Just wait for all of them to rout. We lost, still lost a, a 300 guys. That was not that was not a good victory. There's in no way, shape, or form a good victory. This will, however, be a good thing for both my king and my general because I will just use him to whittle down all these troops. Yep, they're all dead. Let's just go ahead, start taking these guys down. Super fast forward time. Get some real good experience for all of my units. Number four, you guys go after those guys. I can't afford to lose these guys, so they will not be shooting at them. You will be pursuing them with quite the valiant spirit. Let's get my king in there. Everyone's in melee mode. Said everyone's in melee mode. That means don't shoot. If you don't understand that, then I will find a way for you to figure it out. Still lost 300 people. No, 400. 388. That was absolutely unnecessary. I played it very dumb. Was very arrogant. Oh, so nasty. And from the looks of it, I shot myself more than anything. There you go, bud. Yep. Yeah, we'll take your reinforcements. Um, we need to be within range. And we also need to be within range. You, sir, you're just going to have to take some guys. That's just how it's going to have to be. Do I have my other guy back yet? I do. Woot, woot. Make sure there's no army sneaking up us, on us over here. End the turn real quick. I've got a couple more turns left in this part. Arya will be dead by the end of next turn. And I think it's Macron is next. If I'm not mistaken. Oh ye Sassanids. I imagine they're pretty scared of me right now. I'd be pretty scared. Pretty, pretty terrified. We've taken out a lot of their satchpies, which I know has to be hurting them economically. I know this from experience, having played as the Sassanids. Natural causes, MSA, defamation, an unscrupulous rival spread foul rumors. Give the order and they will be silenced. We will pay him off. 
War declared Roman separatists and cartly meat cure has been made. Food shortage resolved in King Gilla's hammer. Good for us on all those fronts. Let's go ahead and move this spy on down. Get this guy to go over here. Let's get... Looks like we're stuck. For a turn or two. We'll just move here. Everyone's good for the most part. I think so. He's got 20 out of 20. He'll keep recruiting. So here's the dealio. We're going to take out Arya next turn. Macron has only two settlements. They should be very easy to take out. The Tanukids at this point are Horde. So they are mobile. Atropatine seems to have resettled. Before Get a peace treaty. Make I a tributary state. We just want to see if it will even happen. You nope. Okay. Yep, so we will have to go back after them, but that won't be an issue. They're not going to be enough to do anything. I wasn't done with that. And the Sassanids only have six places left, so what we might do is I might swoop down Arya Macron, take out these four settlements, swing up, take a trope team, swing back down, go to Arabia Felix. I'm feeling that route, and we may... We may even come up and take Cartley next. I don't know. We'll just have to see. And then from that point, it'll be whether or not we want to go north. Or whether or not we want to go south. Um, the Holy Romans. I guess they're not Holy Roman yet. Eastern Roman Empire. They don't like me, and I don't know why. I don't know. Maybe we haven't done enough stuff against Sassanids. We'll be alright. Anyways, that's the end of this part. Ladies and gentlemen, I do thank you for watching. If you haven't already... Go ahead and hit that like button if you like this episode. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, that way you will always get a notification for when I upload videos. And laid out what we're going to do next turn, and we're going to try and move with some force. And also see if we can't really focus on some economics soon. Um, if there's a part that I believe will be solely economical, I may actually skip it. Unless you guys in the comments say, hey, yeah, we want to watch that. Because to me, that would just be boring. Just me sitting, ending turns, and just building up economically. So, that will be it, guys. Again, thank you for watching. It means so much to me. I will eventually get my year goal video out. It may be the end of January. I'm not sure. We'll just see how things go. This is Havoc, and I am out of here. Peace.